Hi guys, today it's time to talk about putting, the basics of putting. I know that there are many different ways of putting, don't get me wrong, and I'm not teaching you one way of putting because there is non, not, not a single one, but of course there are certain basics you can just pay attention to and then maybe your putting stroke will improve. So before we actually start, I, I ask you if you actually know what kind of putter you have. You have a mallet putter here, you have a, a toe down uh, answer style, the original style was made by Ping, Ping answer. So, um, but the main difference is you can see in the balance of the, um, of the club face. One is a face balance putter and one is a toe down putter. So that you actually supposed to move those putters in a different way is pretty obvious if you think about it. But most of the golfers don't even, you know, pay attention to this. So, I mean, if I take a face balance putter just with a, with a slight grip pressure and just let it um, move a little bit, you will see the club face is going towards the floor, towards the ground and up towards the sky. You know, I don't have to do anything. The club, actually the club face will go down and it will go up. If you have a toe down putter, you will see if I do exactly the same, the club face will open and close. The swing plane with the putter, it's pretty much always the same because you're, you're moving the putter in, in, a, in a slight way of an arc, you know? I mean, you're not really standing completely 90 degrees over the ball, so it's super straight. The putter will always have a certain arc and you shouldn't uh, fight against that. But what you also have to, what you really have to pay attention is with the club face, as always, you know, club face is king and they will never change. So this is the first thing you should figure out what kind of putter you have. And with uh, a face balance putter, you certainly should not open up the club face in the backswing because it will certainly not automatically cl um, close again. Compared to the other one, if you just let it open a little bit, it will automatically close through the ball. And if you, if you watch Tiger in earlier days when he was putting, he was really open his club face and just let it go through the ball again. You know, this is kind of an old school putter because this was before the face balance, but you have to decide what kind of putter you actually um, prefer, right? So that was just for your equipment. Now we're talking about the grip first. I mean, I have two different kind of putters, but I have the same style of grip. I know that there are many different kind of grips nowadays. You have big grips, you have rounded grips, um, you have super thin grips, you have long grips whatsoever, but most of them, what they have, they have edges. You know, you have a pretty a straight line and you have two edges, which are sometimes a little bit more and sometimes they're a little bit more rounded. So, but what, what's the purpose of those edges? You know, I mean, I explained the grip with the normal, in the long game where you have a round grip, which is sitting like in your fingers and the putter grip actually sits in your palm, really through the hand. So if you take that first, if you take kind of a pistol, and you put that putter in that pistol so it actually runs through that lifeline, then you have a pretty neutral grip because that hand is sitting next or from the side on the putter grip. And if you want to have the left hand, I'm talking about the right handers, um, if, or yeah, absolutely right handers. If you want to have that left hand on top, you have just to take away that pointing finger and just do exactly the same with the other hand and just move it down. So. The goal should be that both hands are supposed to come from the side onto the putter. If you want to move in or you back your fingers like this is fine. You can also leave them outside and use it as a little of a guidance. But in the end of the day, the hands should really be attached sidewise onto the grip. This is one main thing, you know, because if you really do an interlock grip and then all of a sudden your right hand is coming from more below and then you really ask for more rotation in your hands, you don't want that in putting. It's a sideways uh, movement, so your hands should be attached sideways. So this is the grip. As I said, I do it kind of a pistol if you want to have it like this. You can also do it the other way around. And um, this is a, a practice I let a lot of uh, students do just to have that right hand on top and then the left hand low. What happens? The shoulder, of course, is leveling out a little bit more. And then all of a sudden you give the left hand more 
more job just to guide the club face towards the hole. If you have the feeling that the right hand is a little bit more active or too active with your wrist whatsoever, it's always a good alternative to take that left hand down and putting cross-handed. Of course, I know you have different grips nowadays. I mean, like Bernhard Lange used to do that in old days. I mean, you have different alternatives if you're fe not feeling comfortable with the normal grip. So this is the grip. Just remember the edges, they actually have a job. So then we come to the address position. If you watch golf on TV, you actually never see any great player and having the arms away from the body. They're always attached to the body, sometimes a little bit more bending over and really attached and sometimes just a little bit more upright. But one rule is you want to be connected with your body and just rock your shoulders all together. So how do you get there? I mean, you can take the putter grip just right in front of your chest and turn in your arms. Just take that elbow down, just rotate it up. And this is the way how you get your upper arms attached to your body. And then from this from this position on, you just bend over. And if, if you think, okay, this is enough bending, then you just straighten your arms and your upper arms stay attached to your body. That's the way how you actually get to it. Or you actually just get your arms attached to your body. But this is the way you can sometimes see it. you're bending over and this is the way the elbows are more attached to your body. As I said, you know, you can also stay a little bit more upright. What I'm not a big fan of is to have super straight arms because super straight arms, you take away the feeling, you, everything which is completely over straightened, you take away touch. So this needs to be in a little bent position in my opinion. Okay, so now we have the grip, we have the setup, and now we have the ball position. For this, I have a mirror. And um, with this mirror, I can super good check my eye position. So optimum, the ball should sit underneath your left eye. You know, it really should sit underneath here. And of course, you can always hold your putter down. Um, but of course, you also have tools like mirrors. They're not expensive. You can, I have a putting mirror pro here. Um, from golfhamster.de, you can order that and then all of a sudden you have a checkpoint you can always use in training when or whatsoever. So my goal is now by looking down that the, that the eye should be covered by the ball and the right eye I can see behind the ball. And you know what? Mostly out of 10 times, eight times I catch myself that I'm actually standing too far away from the ball. I don't know, I think most of the people do that and then all of a sudden they see, oh, I need to get closer to the ball to really be over the ball. And another thing, which is a little quick tip for you guys, try to make a double chin. Really try to get that eye level really down low towards the ball. And if you look down like this, your eye line is actually up here. So really just take your head down, your chin to a double chin, and then you really have your eye falling down onto the ball. So we take the grip, we take the stance, eye over the ball, and then all you do is you rock your shoulders and get that ball straight ahead. And now you see I have my face balance putter. The face is actually pointing more towards the sky instead of rotating. A little quick tip also for putting is also just to leave your eyes where the ball was. Just don't really look up because mostly when you look up, the shoulder comes with you and you start pulling the ball or you actually re, you know, redo it and then all of a sudden you, you open up the club face. So I hope I could help you a little bit with those basics. I mean, you know, grip, setup, ball position, those are the main three basics with the putting. And of course, putting is a little bit of a, also a wrist action and uh, it's a feeling, you know, it's a little bit of intention, reading the putting line, speed of the ball, but so many other things. But those basics you could pay attention to and I'm sure your putting will improve. So I really hope I could help you with that. And if you like that video, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe this channel, have fun with it. And of course you can follow me on Instagram as well. And I hope to see you very soon. Have fun.